got a little visitor right there. Got a little visitor right on my eyebrow. It hurts when you try to pop it. Hello everyone, my name is Sandra and thank you so much for tuning in. All right y'all, I got on all this makeup and y'all know what that means. That means it's time for another extra, super extra nighttime skincare routine that you really shouldn't do, but I'm gonna do anyways because I'm filming. I got my new little Timu wristwear and headgear and I'm ready to go ahead and get this off of my face. Even though I still look good, you know, I'm still looking pretty. I, I need to get this off so that I can see my real skin, let it breathe, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and get it started. Y'all already know my tried and true. This is my e.l.f. Holy Hydration Makeup Melting Cleansing Balm. This stuff is almost gone. I got a squig left, look at that. It is almost gone. I probably got like enough for maybe today. That's probably how much I got in there. Maybe, you know, maybe if I'm just trying to stretch it a little bit, I might be able to get away with doing, yeah, no, I'm gonna have to use all of this. This is gonna be the last time I can use this container, not this product, this container of melting balm. I'm gonna need to go on the Tarjay website because this stuff is literally amazing. And she is officially an empty. I'm gonna go ahead and rub this stuff in, you know, get this stuff, get the, the, the road on the show. question is where did I put the makeup wipes oh okay there they are again I'm gonna use my julep I don't know if it's upside down or not because you know my eyes are closed gotta get up under the eyes make sure there's no more dirt and grime and debris and our makeup is officially off the next step is to actually wash our face. And the product that I'm gonna be using today is by Glow Recipe, and it is the Blueberry Bouncing, not bouncing, there's no I-N-G. Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. This cute little sample size. Let's go ahead and get it get it popping, okay? Let's wash the face. Let's cleanse the face with some bounce cleanser, whatever that means. Hey, our skin is nice and clean. These crusties were in full effect on my lips. When I was filming that makeup look, all you could see was just like little crusties and dusties all over my lips because I used a matte lipstick and it just it just accentuated the crusties on my lips. So we're gonna bust out the Aceology. Or is it this way? Is it this way or this way? I don't know. We're busting out the Aceology. We need to do some heavy duty scrubbing of the lips. This stuff smells amazing. And this is the Passion Fruit Refining Lip Scrub. The lips are exfoliated. I'm just gonna go ahead and rinse this off my lips. Rinse, rinse, rinse. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off of my lips and then we will proceed to the next step. The lips feel nice and soft and smooth. The next thing we're gonna do is actually an exfoliating mask. Now, I didn't know masks were exfoliating, but apparently they can be. And so this is by the K-Bella Bath and & Beauty and it is Exfoliating Strawberry Peel Off Mask with hydrating hyaluronic acid and skin conditioning strawberry fruit extract. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try. It says that this has to sit on the skin for about 30 minutes. So we'll put this on and then come back in 30. Wait, where's the, wait a minute. I thought this was like one of those masks that just like, oh, okay, so you have to get the juices out and then just put it on your face and then it's gonna peel off. Oh, okay. So those juices. Okay, I thought this was gonna be like an actual like mask. Y'all see that? <laughs> so I guess I just gotta like put this on my skin. I've never done like a, a new peel off mask. The one I did was kind of old and crusty and dusty, so it didn't really work. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Um, I guess we'll find out if it peels off. This feels so weird. Was I supposed to put this everywhere? Did I put this on my eyebrows on accident? Oop. Hopefully it doesn't rip my eyebrows out. Actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do some preventative work. I'm gonna wipe my eyebrows off. I'm gonna try to get this off of my eyebrows because I most certainly put it on there. And it's supposed to go on your eyebrows. Let's try to protect, save the eyebrows. I'm gonna go ahead and leave for about 30 minutes and then I'll be right back. 
I can barely move my face because the stuff has like dried down so freaking hard. All right, let's go ahead and peel this thing off and see what it looks like. Oh my God. <laughs> Good thing I wiped this off of my eyebrows because bruh. Look at that, that is so fun. How do they do that? Like how do they, ow, ow, what kind of sorcery is this? Now that that's off of our faces, uh, well, my face, not your face, mine. I'm actually gonna go in with another mask. Now this one is a hydrating mask, which I so desperately need because my fin, my fin, my skin feels very tight. So I'm gonna go in with the Sonage Saffron Energizing Vitamin Mask. And this is what it looks like right here. I believe I got this in, oh, let me show y'all the American side. I believe I got this in my icon box from Ipsy. I've used this once before and I actually really liked it. So I'm excited to use it again. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm gonna wet my face and then put this on. It smells really good. It has like a, um, like an orange kind of scent. Now I love, love orange or citrusy smells when it comes to skincare because there's just something very relaxing about it. And I like to relax when I do my skincare, okay? I like to be relaxing, you know, it's like a at home spa day which is fitting because this is spa grade. As per the writing on the packaging, it is spa grade. There are no instructions. Okay, so I guess the instructions were on the box. Um, Typically, I usually let like masks like this sit on while I take a shower, but I already took a shower, so. I'm gonna probably let this sit on for like 20 minutes and then come back and rinse this off. Okay, we're back. Now, this actually feels really good on my skin. The last time I used it, it had my skin feeling very like moisturized and smooth and clean. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this off and we'll be back to put on the stuff that's gonna actually stay on my face. It literally smells like orange juice. When skincare smells like fruit, it's a win. I love that. I just don't like skincare that smells like perfume. I do not want to smell the Macy's perfume aisle when I'm doing my skincare. This fruity smelling mask is amazing to me. Ooh, we got a little visitor right there. Got a little visitor right on my eyebrow. It is one of the worst places to get a pimple because it just like, it hurts when you try to pop it. I'm not gonna pop it. I'm actually gonna try this on there, but I'm gonna wait till later to put that on. Before that, we're gonna go ahead and tone with my oil minimizing toner with salicylic acid and this is by First Aid Beauty. Now this is the only toner I own so you're gonna see this in like all the skincare videos. Just put a little bit on my hand like so because I don't have cotton swabs so I just tone my skin like this. It's better for the environment this way. That's the story I'm gonna tell. Not that I'm too cheap to go buy cotton swabs. Nice and toned. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is my ROC Rock Night Serum. Now this says that it's supposed to like change your skin in the matter of like a few weeks, two weeks or a month or something like that. Have I noticed a difference? I mean, my skin feels really good these days, but I don't know if it's just because of this because I don't use it every night. You know what I'm saying? Like I use it some nights and some nights I don't. It's hard to say if the changes in my skin for the better are because of this little serum. I enjoy the experience of like twisting the little pod and then putting it on my skin. We're nice and serumized. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Feel Squaling Facial Oil. Really like this stuff. It also smells very citrusy, like oranges. A little goes a very long way when it comes to facial oil. This stuff feels amazing. I'm not gonna lie, my lips feel like super freaking dry. I'm so ready to put on my uh, lip products because my lips are like, ugh, they're like a freaking desert right now. Next, I'm gonna go in with my L'Occitane. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can see, but I can see there's only about a little bit of a squig in there. So we're gonna try really hard to uh, squeeze whatever's left in here out. Okay, yeah, that's about it. So we're gonna finish her off with this little under eye treatment right here. Look like we're going to a, a football game. I'm gonna put a little bit right there, a little bit right there, you know. Smile lines. 
we've used up the rest of our Loctitane. Uh, I mean, it really doesn't say much because they gave us just about this much product. Next, I'm actually gonna go in with my Balance Me Pre and Probiotic Radiance Cream. It's cute, it comes in a little little squeezy thing like this so you can go and be like, a, like an Instagram person. Get my radiance on. My skin feels so good. And the last thing that's going on the face will be the Monet or Monat, I think it's just Monet. The Monet Be Purified Oil-Free Moisturizer. And it's in this cute little teeny tiny pot. It reminds me of my old lady cream, okay? And I've been using this one for a little bit. So this one's almost gone. I wanna get one of those like things that you put in the freezer and then you just rub over your skin. I think once you put like your serums on, I forget what those are called. They had them on sale on the Ipsy store, but I didn't, I didn't snag them. I think part of me is like holding out, hoping that they're gonna come in one of these boxes one of these days, but I, I don't know if that's gonna happen. So, you know, next time those go on sale, I might just go ahead and get me, get me some. And our face is done. Ooh, demon. Okay, glass skin. Now, the lips. And we do the same thing to the lips every single time. I go in with my Egyptian Magic. I've been really into this. You know, this one makes sense to give you a sample size this big because you see, I've been using this a lot. I barely scratched the surface on how much product is in here. Cause it's like, if you're using it on your lips, a little is gonna go very far. Cause I mean, lips aren't that much surface area. I think this is a perfect sample size for this. And last, but certainly not least, one of my favorite products to apply to my face, well, to my lips, which are on my face. So I guess technically to my face is my Cobb Cosmetics Lip Oil. And this is in Juicy Melon. And they definitely make my lips feel juicy. Really love this stuff. I'm gonna have to order some more of those glossy boxes just so I can stock up. Cause look, it's like almost gone and I only have one other tube left. So I might just have to do a little little uh, glossy box order, order like three or four now. Cause I don't wanna run out. The lip oil is just chef's kiss. I said the last thing was that other thing, but really the last thing on my face is actually gonna be this. And this is by Nip and Fab Renew. And it is a retinal fix blemish, blemish, blemish gel treatment 10%. I'm just gonna go ahead and put this on my little problem area. Ooh, it comes with a little applicator like such. And so we're just gonna carefully put that right on that visitor. Hold up, I didn't get all the mask off my nose. Why y'all ain't tell me? Y'all fake, okay? Real friends would have told you, girl. She still had mask on her nose. Let me just double check, cause you know, y'all fake and y'all don't tell your girl when she got stuff on her face. I did put a little acne treatment there, a little bit on the one that's on my forehead. I don't see any more pimples that I can necessarily put this on. I'm gonna leave this on and see. See if it does anything. I'm over here looking for the lid. The whole time the lid is already on the thing already. That is the end of my super extra nighttime skincare routine. Like I've said before, you don't need to do all these things in one night. Maybe pick one night out of the week where you go a little hard, a little extra. But other than that, keep it simple, okay? You don't wanna destroy your moisture barrier, okay? Cause that's exactly, or is it skin barrier? Whatever, the barrier of the skin. You do not want to jack that up. So do not do this all the time. And then don't do this if you're 10 years old. You're 10, your skin already sheds, you don't need all these products on your face, okay? Just enjoy being 10 and wash your face with a warm, warm new towel every night, you be good, okay? That's all you need. Now us uh, maturing, okay, not mature yet, but maturing people, yeah, if you wanna do, you know, an extra skincare routine, an extra super extra, only choose to do that maybe once a week, okay? The rest of the week, keep it simple. If you like this content, you already know what to do. Like, share, comment, and definitely subscribe so that you can become a Febe. And I will see y'all with the next one. Deuces.